we're going to make a colour wheel. You can download this template from my website and print it onto lightweight watercolour paper. Around the edge of the wheel we'll paint our primary and secondary colours. The inner area will contain mixes of all three primaries. These mixes are called tertiaries and will be our browns and greys. The colours I've selected for this colour wheel are cadmium yellow pale hue, cobalt blue hue and cadmium red hue from the Winsor & Newton Cotman range. Mix them to a reasonable consistency so they provide a strong colour and we'll start with the yellow and paint it in the 12 o'clock position on the colour wheel. Once we've done this, do the same for the other two primary colours, leaving three spaces between each colour around the edge of the wheel. When this is finished, we can mix our secondary colours. Secondary colours are a mix of two primary colours. We'll start with green, which is a mixture of the yellow and blue. Adjust the mix carefully so that you get a mid-green that is neither too yellow or too blue. Colour in the square centrally between the yellow and the blue. Then mix the red and yellow to make orange and place it centrally between red and yellow. And finally a purple colour placed centrally between the blue and the red. When these are done, the remaining squares can be mixed and filled in. They'll be, for instance, a yellow-green, a blue-green, um, a yellow-orange and a red-orange, a violet and a purple. When this is done, the outer ring of the colour wheel is complete. All we have to do now is fill in the tertiary colours in the centre. Our browns and greys can be made by mixing together colours that are opposite each other on the colour wheel. These colours are called complementaries. Yellow is complementary to purple, it is opposite. So we're going to mix together a greyed yellow, taking a small amount of its complement, the purple, and adding it to the yellow. When this is done, we'll put it just inside the bright yellow on the colour wheel. After this, we will add more purple and put it in the space below and more purple till it gets into the centre and then we'll carry it through the centre, keep adding the purple colour until we meet the purple across the other side of the colour wheel. We need to repeat this process for each complement on the colour wheel the red and the green, the orange and the blue, and so on and so forth. When we have done the mid-ranges, uh, the wheel should look like this, and then fill it in completely with all the other complements, and finally just label it up with our three primaries and file it as a reference. You'll notice the brightest colours are those that are around the outside of the wheel. I can see colours in these mixes that resemble the siennas and the umbers that are so useful in landscape painting. You can paint perfectly well with three primaries, but as we've seen, the mixes lack a little variety, particularly with the purples, which look a little dull and lifeless. In my next video, we'll be looking to add extra colours to our range.